sometimes when you want a really quick meal that's really tasty like nachos and you don't have mincemeat in the fridge, I always have a few chorizo on standby because it actually does a really fantastic cheats nachos. So for chorizo for this, I'm heating up a pan to a medium heat. You don't want it to be too hot because we want to render the fat out of the chorizo sausage. The chorizo sausage has loads of garlic in it and smoked paprika, so it's perfect for this. I also want to take the meat out of the casing. So just cut a slit straight down the chorizo and remove that casing and almost replicate mincemeat. So once I've taken this off, I've got a mini food processor here and I'm just going to pulse it a few times so we get this mixture to look like mince. Once I've done that, I'm going to start rendering it off. Okay, so now this goes straight into the pan. You don't need any oil in the pan whatsoever because of the fat in the chorizo. So in, and now we just want to cook this down until it's golden brown. Once it's golden brown, all I do is add a little bit of chopped tomato and then all we need to do is finish off these nachos with a bit of cheese and a little bit of avocado. tomatoes are cooked, which will take about 10 minutes, it's ready to go. You wouldn't even know the difference and the taste is actually really good with that chorizo sausage in there. And now for a little bit of salsa on the top, just a bit of avocado, if you've still got some avocado in the fridge, avocado, tomato, a little bit of lime there, some coriander. And you can't have nachos without a little bit of sour cream on top. Just a small spoonful. That's actually quite a large one, but hey, it's a fun dish. That is yummy. The perfect nachos. No need for takeaway. Make your own takeaway at home. 15 minutes. <laughs>